Hello, G Hubbards here with a, another Minecraft video. Um, this time I got a eight combo lock. So there's eight levers here, and you got to get the right code to be able to go in. As you can see, none of the levers are down, so you can't go in. So, just to tell you, right now, before I do anything, I was watching some videos, and they all just made this way too complicated. So I thought, well, I could do it simpler. And so with most of my redstone stuff, I just make it myself. I maybe watch a few videos to get some idea of how other people are doing it, and I do it my way. So this is an instance of Gin, of me doing it my way. So just to show you how it works, you hit in the right combo. So it's two, three, five, seven. Then you hit this enter button, and the door opens, and you can go in. Of course, you have to go in when the button goes there. So I'm in. And then for easy access out, you just push the button and you can go out. Now, let's say you go back and it's an intruder and they go, hmm, I think this person's one of those one, two, three, four, five kind of combo people. You know, they just uh, can't remember their combos and so they just do one, two, three, four, five. Go in. And the door doesn't work. So let's say they get all of them right. You're like, okay, there are one, two, three, five, seven combo people. And they go to hit it. Doesn't work, even with one wrong. So they have to get all of them right. Now, say they get all of them right, and you're inside and you're like, heh, <laughs> suckers, I'm going to hit the lever. So then you can go out. Well, say they are trying to get in. And they can't. They have the combo correct, but it doesn't work because you have this lever over here, which can lock it no matter what. The only downside to having levers instead of buttons, because buttons, I mean, if perfect world, you'd want buttons, because then once you're inside, you don't have to worry about, you know, having the correct combination just here, because once you're inside, then you can't flip the levers again. And it's like, well, crap, now they can see my combination. Uh, don't worry, because it's, I've made it, I mean, if I did buttons, I'd have to add a ton of T-flip flops and just craziness, and to, you know, keep a constant stream for how I've made mine, um, and that just would have complicated it so much more, so I decided just to keep it simple, um, however, I did make it super easy to change the combination, so here is the wiring, and it's way simpler than anything I've ever seen for this. And I haven't seen all the videos, but I saw a good amount, and none of them had anything like this. So basically, what you're trying to do is this redstone right here, down through underground, and you want to get it to go through here and complete this uh, line, circuit, whatever you want to call it, of redstone and then it'll go underground and go to the door which I'll show you all of the wiring soon enough but so basically then over here you just have all of these every other and then for the ones that are the correct combination you put a redstone torch on it instead of another redstone here so what that does is it makes it so it pushes out blocking the signal so it doesn't work just by default which you don't want to have happen. And because, you know, when redstone is like this, it cuts off the uh, circuit, but when you pull it back, it completes the circuit again. Now, for the ones... So, just for example, you hit this switch, and it'll pull it back, because now this is powered, and the torch flips the signal, allowing this to pull back. And this right here is just to renew the signal. Um because it is longer than 15 blocks or however long redstone goes before losing its charge. Now, say you put in the wrong one, it'll cut the circuit. So even if you get all of them right but one wrong, it won't work. So it's really, really simple. Um, I could have done buttons, but I didn't want to because it would have just really overcomplicated and made this wiring so much larger which I know for a lot of people who aren't that good for redstone wiring, this is really helpful. 
Now over here, you have the enter button. So once you have a continuous stream of energy in here, I mean, you, I could just have it so that the door automatically opens, but I think it's a little cooler to have like an enter button uh, to go in. And so basically all that that is, I'll just break these blocks here, is uh, something breaking the current, and then when that's, oh, let me just get these, um, when that current is then, because uh, then you press the enter button and it'll pull this back for a moment, allowing the current to go through, allowing the door to open. So that's that. And then under here, uh, what you have to do is flip the signal once and then flip it twice because this redstone torch will power the block above it which has the door on it and and uh yeah so that's how that works pretty simple stuff let me get a grass block just to uh keep it how it was so then the last part to this is uh, over here, which is just a simple lock thing, so that once you're inside, and say you have to log off and don't want to go outside, you just flip this, it'll push it, breaking the circuit at the end of the circuit, just making it so even if you get the combo right, it won't work. Which, this could be a fun way to screw with your friends, I don't know. Uh, and you could always take this idea and build your own, your own thing um, with it. So that was this. Now, Say you want a repercussion for putting in the wrong combo. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before I do that, before I do that, sorry. Um, to change the combination, because as I said earlier, it is super easy to change the combination. So you could change it every day or something, just because you do have to leave the levers out and someone could see the levers. So I would advise either changing it once a week or once every day or so. It is all you have to do and so these, the ones with the torches are the correct combination. Say you don't want that to be the correct combination anymore. You just put that there. And then say you want this one to be the correct... Or no. You leave this one. Say you want this button to be the correct combination. You take out that redstone and add a torch. So now the combination has changed. Now one last thing before I go on and tell you about the repercussion and all that. Is for this lock... It is only an 8 combo lock, and say you want something bigger, you want a 16 combo lock. So 16 of these buttons. This design is so simple that all you have to do to expand the design is extend the wall, add the buttons, continue this, make the ones you want to have this, and make the correct ones, and then you move this farther back, and all you have to add is, depending on how big you want it to be, you add another one of these, which will uh, renew the signal. That's all you gotta do. Super simple. So yeah, this has been uh, G Hubbards. Please uh, rate, subscribe, comment. Um, all that helps if you wanna see some other videos. Uh, or if you have any suggestions for videos, please comment. Um, please subscribe. And uh, you know, I've decided that I'll make um, adding a trap to this a separate video and I'm gonna just remake that section of the video um, so I'll see you guys next time I'll definitely put a link in for how to get to that different video I'll see you guys next time bye